we'll find out as we enter into our very first match between True Will and Pinkroyd here in the semifinals. Let's see a game five, guys, right? I would love to see that right now, to be honest. I, I, frankly, I, I, I'm rooting for the America's region. This is yeah. our chance. Let's it, do this. It, is game five going to be extinct? Extinct? You know, like we haven't seen it today. It the hasn't ever appeared. elusive <laughs> game five. I've heard tell. Oh, congratulations to everybody. We just reached our second accumulated viewership reward, which means in addition to the scrolls and Rainbow Mon that we got earlier, now we're also getting two legendary six-star runes in a reap. Thank you to everybody for watching. Oh, thank you for that reap. I can feel the trip roll coming my way already. Well, here we go, guys. We've got our pre-bands here. Laura and uh, Vanessa, the pre-bands. Pinkroy choosing to lock in a Chibu first pick. This is quite interesting. Yeah, very unique. Interesting it is. Let's see if True Will sticks to his guns and gets the Water Ryu very strong against the Chibu already. It's a monster that generally, you know, doesn't get that glancing because of the element of advantage. Also gets a turn immediately after, and the Wedge Ed is right there. But we talked about those high base speed units. Segment, Etna. Oh, I love that change. I, ju I just love the Water Ryu. There's that water Ryu. Does he for it's the water not the more. Ryu, it's so not the more. Is this a despair what? unit? I don't know. Maybe. What? Like or did he swap them to play mind games on us? Oh, my God. This is he like more mind game stuff right here. He absolutely could have. Pinkroy taking his sweet time. He went down in the first pick right now. He's really looking at these two units. Will an Etna come out? Will uh, Cigar, you know, the Tian Lang is already here. Great counter against the water Ryu. I, I think he's going to transition. Yeah, there it is. I, I, I think I'm going to transition to turn two. Now I hate the Chibu, to be honest. <laughs> like, I think I that's the wrong thing. Well, speed I'll the wrong tell you something. When you're, when you're if, a bruiser. if he picks a Kitian de Shang in his next phase, that explains a lot of the Chibu. That's what he might be thinking. Interesting that he's going with the Sean here, taking a route that um, uh, 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 Big V took here. Mm hmm. And it did not go too well, but he goes Sean <laughs> and Nikki. Nikki, a very strong unit right here. I oh, really like the Shizuka with I only one reset on the table. Uh, does he lock down the monkey, or does he bring something else that's bruisery that can deal with these four? I really like that Shizuka. That's a very, mm -hmm. very troublesome unit. Annabelle is going to be hitting the field here. I actually really like the Annabelle. Very yeah. water heavy. Can't help but see like a win unit coming out here that's going to get banned as the <laughs> fifth pick here with True Will. Yeah, I think it looks comfortable if he picks the Annabelle to play against these four. Juno is great as well, but I, I think that maybe the the Sean now versus the Juno when the Sean versus the Annabelle, I think he's a little bit stronger versus the Juno. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, right? I do agree with that. But I do like Pink Roid opening up his draft here, mm -hmm. going with you know two water and two fire instead of going with three water yeah. there. Uh, yeah, th I mean it's it's Juno. Like, can you signal a Juno going through or what with a, with a Masha yeah. last pick? You know? you, you know what? I think that either Sean or Masha ban is fine here to be honest. Sean's or the ban. Yeah, dude. or if he wants to ban the speed lead though, he, that might be something that might surprise us. Stuck. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I do think the Sean's going to get banned yeah. out here. I think this Shizuka is too <gasps> good, but it looks like Camilla's going to get the ban, and Nikki's going to get the ban as well. I don't know. He took out the 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 sustain, so that's an interesting choice. I like that. I do agree with you that the Sean is very dangerous in this matchup, but he has the Shizuka still. He has the Tion Link. The damage was removed. The main source of damage is not here anymore. Does he get the reset on turn one on the Shizuka? Yeah, gets he it. does get it. That's super, super important there. He needs to even get this rip right here on top of the He doesn't get that as well, so it's not completely clean on this field here. Big skill two going out there. Ooh. No stun's going to be happening, though. We are primed and ready with a massive skill two. He can throw this right into the Juno, opening up Curse of the Beautiful. Yeah. This. Oh, oh man. This, That's big damage, dude. this is very dangerous. Opens up the whole game for himself. Now he can just go little by little, taking one at a time. And the thing is, he has two units that can kill the Juno. That's why we wanted to see either the Masha or the Shangon. So far, Tian Lang. He goes for Curse of Beautiful anyways. Yeah. He, yeah. Everything's really, really healthy right now. Heal yeah. is going to be landing on this field. There's the additional turn. He's going to shake that defense break. That's the not Juno, what The Juno's see. dead because the Sean is going to send her to oblivion in the next turn. Oh, you are right. He does take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. There's that squall coming out here. Juno will get smashed with this. Oh, oh no Missed way. a crit. And a revenge despair stun. Way, way, way. What happened? Wait. What's? I want to take it a look. It was because of the speed buff. So Juno was faster. Yeah, so I know, but but e even with that, I, I wouldn't run a low crit Sean in this level. Auto 
crit. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but Ooh, even with that, you can still have the crit resisted on. Resisted the reset yeah. going out onto Shizuka as well. I do think he still keeps going into that Juno, but yeah. not happen there. This is going to be a dismounted Masha. Uh, Stoic, this might have turned the match, to be completely honest. Like, it, right now, if you remove the Sean from the field, this Juno suddenly becomes super dangerous. Well, you still have to be very careful with the, the violent proccing of Masha, because Masha does have that ability to take Juno out. Juno's yeah. not that healthy right now, so he yeah. does have to. That is the correct target to go after. Oh! First skill, he could put it into either one of these units, but I do think he should be going after this Juno. This Juno might be built on Nemesis, so I wouldn't hit yeah. that unit just yet. Reset probably stays on this TN lane with the skill two, or maybe even going back to Shizuka. Shizuka, yeah. Hit reset already, but I think, yeah, he's coming right back to that unit. This has to go into the Juno. Can it he's crit gotta kill? remove that unit from the field here. Oh. Choosing to not go after, we uh, do have the skill too. So maybe the Water Ryu is going to be enough to take out the Juno, but this has got to drop the Tian Lang. Tian Lang is going to be dropping here. Okay, I, I think he still got it. The reset on the Shizuka was very strong, and like you said, the Juno's too low. She has to go for the Hail Mary, misses the stun on the Masha, and that looks like game one for Truewell, even with the miss crit. Oh, Ooh, counter. Go for that. Gets counter oh. right here. Does get that squad. Put that into the Shizuka. We're not worried yeah, about yeah, that yeah. Juno right now. <laughs> the Juno's gone right now. Uh, oh, man. Oh, whoa. That is, uh, you know, some interesting uh, skill choice right there. Just go for skill one. Kills it. The Shizuka's almost fully reset. Not a lot Ooh, for her to do. Did we, crit well, we do yeah. finally crit water. True <laughs> whale taking round one from Pink Crow. Masha almost forgot that she has Elemental King. She <laughs> almost ran, she, oh, wait. I'm supposed to crit on water. My bad. <laughs> Let, let me go. do it again. Yeah, let me try that one more time. Wow, True Whale taking round one up against Pinkroid. Almost slipped through his fingers a couple times there, but you know what? He took it in the end, and that's yeah. a win for the Americas region. Super close match right there, though, Like to be honest. like they, There really could have been a lot of things to happen right there. We could have saw a crazy amount of Despair Stones coming out of Juno, but when you see a Rejuno Revenge Despair Stun, it's just like jaw-dropping to see that even happen right there. That's just yeah. like... Crazy, crazy RNG that even that even like came to terms there. Yeah. I just want to bring something out there. He's his best boy, Tian Lang, disappointed and did not strip, did not stun, did not stun, oh, didn't oh, do point, anything. Point, yeah. For me, that was a key thing in the match. When that didn't happen, I think True Will kind of like I saw him breathing and he was like, okay, I got this I've under got control. A window. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that was that was the cue that he had that breathing room. You know, it, True Will was able to kind of take control of the game after that. Tian Lang really didn't put in a whole lot of effort to win that game. Uh, I, I did like seeing the Masha. The Masha did great. I love that unit. Masha and the Sean, I think you couldn't have left both of them side by side because it's oh, too yeah. much damage to remove the Juno. And you, you gave a good call about the speed buff on the Juno not making the auto crit, but I'm, as a poor man Sean user, AKA Taor, my Taor <laughs> still has 80% crit rate because I'm super afraid of that. That's actually a really good tech to run, and not a lot of people run that tech. Most people kind of go low crit rate. And I like what you said, it's like when you're here at the World Finals of SWC, you want to make sure that you have that advantage, even if you're lower on speed mm -hmm. than your opponent, because you're more likely to be lower on speed here than anywhere else. But still worked out, you still worked know. Out. Still worked great out. Great picks. A lot of damage coming out from True Whale on this first game. Yep, Stoic. that's right. Well, we're getting into round number two right here between Pinkroid and True Whale. Pre-bans with the the Widget and that light Monkey King getting a pre-ban in this match with True Whale with the first pick here. Two very strong drafters. We can't say much about the first match. Let's see how they adapt. True Whale will get the Laura, not the Water Ryu. Interesting. That leaves an opening. It definitely does leave an opening. I do think he should take units that, you know, Pinkroid has an opportunity mm -hmm. of taking and not that lore, because I think the lore, you know, not that the lore is a bad pick by any means there, but I don't think lore needs to happen. We have seen this before. Vanessa, Cigar, these are excellent first picks here. I agree with you. I really like it. Very consistent. Now he puts 33% on his side with the Oliver and a Carno. Okay. Know, what's scary about this Oliver, for a person who loves to jo uh, loves to draft an Antares, you are justifying that Antares right now, taking that <laughs> Oliver. Good point. Uh, I like the Masha coming out of Pinkroid right now. And I got to tell you something. The Fire and Bison is a monster that I used to love a lot. I think he's very inconsistent nowadays. Uh, we saw True Will lose a game using him in the America's Cup, so I don't know how well he can perform, but I do love the kinky coming out and maybe some sort of some sort of sustain, uh, something that can bring. Oh, beautiful, a Praha. Yep, I, I amazing really like picks. The I think the Praha is a very, very good unit. 
no immunity on the side of Pinkroid right now. So because of that lack of immunity, Oliver does look super dangerous right now. But I think what he's doing is he's trying to set up a defense break. We're looking at a Vanessa-Masha combination going somewhere. Mm -hmm. If those two units make it through, I want to say the Vanessa is going to be that fast to go right behind the Vanessa. That's a good point. You know what I really like right now? A Camilla. A Camilla is an interesting unit that can deal with a lot of stuff, but it's probably going to get banned or the reset is going to get banned. Oh, Not, it, interesting. I think that's okay. Is he gonna ban, just ban the Hay Gang and go right in? Kinky. That's oh yeah, 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 on his side. But I mean, on, on Truel's side, I don't know. This Hay Gang is dangerous. It's very difficult. Oh, he bans the Robo. He got the bait. I know. I wasn't expecting uh, any of these uh, these these bans coming mm -hmm. out here. So, so when Robo gets the ban, the Fire and Bison is gonna get the ban as well. 33 speed leads for both these players. Here is the Cigar faster than that Laura. Interesting, yeah. Interesting. Let's see. The, the Laura takes no. turn one, but there's a Hay Gang, my friend. Even if you do it, the Hay Gang will probably cut. Let's see if it happens. Yes, sir. Yeah, the full team strip. Here. Yeah, Vanessa I don't know. Is in front. Hay Gang is going to be in front of them. Uh, Let's see where this mosh is. Cigar be goes in. Cigar is getting full team reset attack bar reduction as uh, well. We've got a lore that's potentially going to get this. Oh my God. Oof. He opens it up. There it is. I Oof. said he was going to get the defense break yeah. on top of that Oliver, and that's the unit that he wants to. Does that's, it pop? That's, but he procs anyways. Yeah, that's why you ban that Hay Gang. He needs a proc. No proc on the Oliver. The, the Praha is reset. You can keep controlling this, Oliver. This Masha has so much damage, it's going to be Kinky versus the world, Stoic. Yeah, I think this is a violent Kinky. This is not mm -hmm. a despair one, so I think he still goes with the skill, too. It looks like he really wants to keep pushing for the defense breaks, which is yeah. very, very fair, especially when you've got Praha who's able to do a little bit of damage, too. He needs a proc right now from the Oliver. No proc again. The luck is not on his side on this one. If there's one proc from Cigar, though, this might be a lock. Doesn't get it. He can remove a unit from the field and not risk it. Yeah, Masha is crazy right now. Big damage is going to be coming out on that. Uh, on the wow. elemental ignorant Masha once again. Crazy. That was a bit risky, but it worked. Crazy that even happened. So there's the additional turns coming out of the kinky. It's not going to be that impactful right now with how far ahead uh, Pinkroid is right now. But I will tell you something. The one stun is removed. This might be a kinky solo. I really like True Whale's choice of removing the unit that had despair because right now oh every time God. he uses something, he counters. He counters the whole time. How do you stop this kinky? Yeah, th there's no way. A, he needed a dismount oh. right there. He needed to get yeah. that dismount, and Vanessa's uh, got to go. So the he death has to get break. That skill up. Oh, oh the the I'm telling you. This needs to be a dismount. I'm telling you. He has to go into the Vanessa. He doesn't care. He doesn't there's care. There's the defense break, uh. though. He's got to take out the Vanessa. Oh, my God. The can. Oh. Uh. Oh, oh, that was huge. He can kill. Oh, Pink oh my skill God. Two for the skill two, sir. Skill the two. Endure. Get the endure. Oh! Wow! Holy cow. Oh my god! By the grace of God, Truel gets a round two victory. This is one of my favorite matches. He is targeting Stoic. Removing the despair unit was on point. Bankroy did an amazing job on the draft. He thought about everything except the kinky. Yeah. <laughs> Everything except the kinky. I wanted to say something in the pick fan phase, but I didn't want it to be like the caster's curse where the Masha perfectly yeah. takes advantage of the kinky well. in the game. So it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I what did, a great game. I did think the Masha was going to take advantage of the kinky, though, and it just didn't happen. That, yeah. That's so crazy to see it come out like that because I thought Pink Roy had it in the bag, to be honest with you, that yeah. entire time. I, I, I agree with you. Dude, it was very close. The kinky was such an amazing point of, of foresight from True Whale. That was amazing. I impeccable choice. I gotta say, I love the way the Pinkroid actually operated during the game, especially when he was like, you know what? I'm a little ahead. I could risk going <laughs> element disadvantage <laughs> right now with the Masha and oh, aiming wow. at the Raha. That was so cool. And he was and he was rewarded for it. The double oh crit on God. water. Love it. I thought, you know, that's territory for Masha and Bird. Only yeah. those two <laughs> units can do it. It was great to see. Here we go, guys. We are going into what could be the last round of this semifinal set between True Whale and Pinkroid, with True Whale sitting at that point. That point. There's been a lot of 3-0s right now uh, today. Th this would be insane if that's what's happening here, but we'll yeah. find out, guys. Pre-bans. Here we are again. Laura and Vanessa once again getting pre-banned. Pinkroid does have first pick here. Yeah, I love that you brought up that, Evan. Masha, the spiritual successor of Perna. 
Doesn't care what your color is. It's going to crit on you. Pink right right here with pick number one. Segment comes out. Bex against the wall. Let's see if he can truly show his colors and take a game back to pressure True Whale. Yep, so there's that widget and ah, oh, the Chunk Punk. I mean, again, like it has, we haven't seen the cigar coming out of True Whale. I do think whatever that cigar was, it's a Chunk Punk now. Mm hmm. Uh, the the Tian Lang coming out, very strong unit. Didn't perform very well in game number one, but he brings it. I think you can try to bring something to bait out more control, maybe a cigar or something like that, and then you slap the bruiser, right? You bring on the fire monkey. Maybe you bring on if there's not enough reset a Shizuka. Let's see what True Will responds with. <gasps> Stop. It, it, it's almost like he's no from, way. The, uh, from the Americas region. It's <laughs> almost like he's listening to our calls. No way. The Water Ryu and the Oki. Uh, Oki says, please hold my beer. I am still better than Cigar. Yep, yep. I, you know, I was going to say, this, that, that Fire Pure Vanilla comes out there. So many people are drafting this unit. I just Why do you hate it I so don't, much? Do I don't know, understand. It's, it's Jackson, Jackson at home. At home. Jackson Not everyone home. has Jackson, my friend. Well, you got to understand that. Well, we've got Jackson at I, home. I, you don't I need Jackson. Dislike for this we've got unit. Jackson at home. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> I, I think Jackson is a phenomenal unit, but just because he has the... the <laughs> the, the, the both attack bar gain, attack bar pushback inside his passive. And, and this this right here just has one. It has one version. I, oh I, I, I don't like it. I sure, know. sure. It's like, like it. you know, uh, the, the, the Carnal, the M Bison, the fire version comes out right here. I really like the draft from True Whale, but also Pinkroyd brought out what? some interesting units to to deal with the, uh, the reset, the attack bar gain. It's going to be really interesting to see if he lets everyone through or if he bans this Tian Lan. I think he bans the Tian Lan. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it, it looks like it because he has the Water Ryu, he has the Okeanos, he has the Wedget, a lot of attack bar gain. Even the M Bison gains attack bar on skill number two. Oh, <gasps> bans out the No! Oki ban? What? Wait, Oki ban? What? Oki ban? I am not expect. I was not expecting this. Where are we? One of the resets is gone, my friends. We're going into Game number three, match point for oh, True Whale, that's Stoic. Interesting. It really is interesting here. Well, we got a second skill coming out here, looking for a full team strip. Does not get that strip on top of the Sean. Would Jet looking to boost up that team here? The resist, very important on the Sean, my friend. Yep. Right now, he needs to reduce Serious attack bars. Matter. Yeah, I think you can't, you can't risk it. He risks Whoa. it. Whoa, nothing. He goes for the third <gasps> skill though. Let's for the go damage. For the skill to push back the attack. Yeah. Button. No, opting to go for third skill. He's going yeah. all in here. Yeah, because he knows the stun is coming out from the Sean, right? So he needs to use it right now. He can go for the strip on the Chunk Punk. Yes, sir. Get resisted. resisted. Oh, what? wow. Miss, what happened? Where are the stuns? What is this Sean doing? Oh, my God. Pink Roy not getting any activations right here. Yeah, not looking good at all. I mean, we've said this before. If Segment doesn't do what she needs to do in the first round, that's, that's like the, the biggest throw mm -hmm. when Segment's not able to do that. Not looking good at all for Pinkroid right now. Not landing skills. It's, it's very, very difficult to have to deal with. Attack bar pushback is available with this first skill here. Probably going towards the highest attack bar. Opt yeah. to go for uh, uh, Sean here. You need the skill too. The Curse of the Beautiful. Don't risk it right now. Yes, sir. He gets it out. Important no glance. Only defense break is going to be landing on top of that Fire and Bison, though. Which is the tankiest unit, right? You wanted that on the Chunk Punk or on the wedge jet but he doesn't get that now he's forced to reset that chunk punk or the wedge jet both of them will have skill soon yep looking to get a provoke on top of that tian lang does not get it here maybe a potential despair then if this is a despair version because we know it's mm -hmm. not the more this is the water ryu yeah. let's see if he chooses to go he does go for that attack break though on top of the tian lang so we can't tell if this thing is on despair yet so no confirmation on that we do have third skill available i think you should go and throw that onto the wedge off to go for the fire and bison Ooh. though I don't know. I don't know. The, the Chung Pung has skills right now, but he has two fire units, so he's not that worried. He needs to remove units from the field right now. It's starting to get really dangerous. One important proc from yeah. the Tian Lang. This yeah, might nice. be bringing it back. The, the reduced attack bar, but he has a glancing, and there's two he fire still units. He has to go for it. Yeah. He does have to go for it still, though. Nice little revenge, though, to get a little bit of sustain out of that first skill here. I think he, too, has got to go for second skill. He's pushing that uh, the, the damage out there, and he does. The units are looking really, really low mm -hmm. right now. I don't think he has to go and get the provoke onto that fire unit. No one cares. Yeah, he's probably going for the Sean right now because the Sean has skills. Glancing, very important. Hit the unit that has the death break. Yes, sir. Get it down. But the wedge at now. The reset didn't come on. And this is a very, very important moment for Pinkroyd. He needs the Tian Lang to work, Stoic. Yeah, he's got second skill. He's, he's got to use it. Uh-huh. 
Oh, oh finally! Done. That's really, really big right now. Finally! Going out top of the Sean here, though. A little bit of damage. We do get additional turn, and he needs to provoke this this Sean. I know it's attack broken, but it's still it's really important that he lands that provoke. Oh, it doesn't land that provoke here. No, not enough damage. Finally, the vanilla getting the shields, the heal. This is the opening for the Sekhmet. And oh, Big Roy takes number see. three. Yeah. That might have been the longest game that we've seen today. I'm sitting there and I'm looking at how deep we are in the mid to late game and all the intricacies, the pro weighing the pros and cons, all the risk assessment of every move made. It felt like that was a game of inches and Pink Roy came out on top. Man, and I'm sorry, Stoic. I love you, but I got to say it. The pure vanilla was the MVP of the match. Keep it in there. I'm really sorry. I agree with you that Jackson is 35 times better than her. But in this specific match, when you don't have oh a Jackson, she was incredible. The heals, the shield, the sustain. Otherwise, we know how strong the artifacts on the side of True Whale are. He just gets you super down, and she kept bringing them up, you know, little by little. So in this specific in match. In this very specific match. She did a good job. She did an yeah. okay job. <laughs> yeah, it's like, not get, let's not get carried away. So it's not like, it's like, she was all right. It was all right. Still Jackson at home. That's so funny, man. What a great game. And I'm telling you, like, that 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 mid game, I really like seeing the, the back and forth between the two players. The big swing felt like the Tian Lang skill too stoic when he mm. finally got some stuns. I felt like I hadn't seen yeah. that today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Truel had a fantastic opener in that match, though. He really yeah. did. He did. These two players are giving us a show, guys. Like, there's, we can nitpick all we want, look at little details. Maybe this should have been man. Maybe this should have been attack. But both of them have been extremely consistent, reliable, and really smart at That's picking right. and banning. And Truewell still at match point. pre bans from last time. Lauren Vanessa now available as we get into round number uh, four. You know, let's see what happens right here. pre bans Nikki in the light monkey. I was not expecting to see these two get banned. I agree with you. It surprised me, but... This is match point. No games can be played here. Pink Roy needs a win to give us our first game five of the day. Yeah, so I'm actually expecting Pink Roy to go heavy into turn one right now because I think he was expecting Nikki to be one of those turn two units that Truel likes to bring there, and um, I like that. So we're expecting to see uh, a, a turn one Pink Roy right now because he's stopping the turn Ooh, two power. With the Nikki. He went with the segment instead of the cigar. So we've been seeing a lot of prioritization around this segment, not only in this matchup, but also in the diligent versus less. Interesting because that puts you on double fire and it gives an opportunity for True Will to exploit that. I think Pink Roy's ready for this. I think Pink Roy purposely went with the Vanessa segment mm -hmm. uh, with the ban on top of the Nikki, forcing, he's forcing the Widget and the Lore. Yes. He's someone who knows he knows what to do. He's, he's I would gonna love. Very, he's going to oh, be very comfortable in this match. I would love a water. Ryu steal right now. How strong is Water Ryu into this and taking it away? But you know what? The, the Heigang does kind of like a similar job in this. Oh, or Water Ryu or Heigang. We don't know. Uh, I the think you need the second speed lead though. Oh. If you have the, well, it depends, right? If you have the Heigang. In my opinion, you need second speed lead because you already you already have a segment in your shot. Mm -hmm. Like, why not why not go with a second speed? I think the water read would have been great. I, l I agree with you. I, I would have loved it. But this guy is up there, and I'm not, so he probably knows what he's doing. <laughs> I love this. Let's see if True Will right now brings something that can guarantee that he doesn't need to bend the segment because the segment looks very threatening. I, I, I think he either goes with 33 speed lead or he brings out that water, water read. Water read. Water read is great. With the Chung Pong as <sighs> well, though. Does this tell you, though, that he's banning the Hay Gang instead, then? And yep. lets the segment through, 100%, 100%, right? 100% yeah. with the ban on the Hay Gang, though. So now, that means Pink Roy's free to bring. Look at he's thinking about it. He knows. He knows the Hay Gang's going to get banned. He needs Bruiser. He knows he, what he's doing. Yeah, he needs a Bruiser right here. Or he can oh, bring I think it's too the late. Tian Lang. Well, the no, Tian it's, Lang. Not, it's not too late. It's not <gasps> too late. Wait, no, but then if he bans the. Okay, I like that pick. Because if he bans the Hay Gang, he has. Two units yep. that move ahead. <gasps> no. What an animal. I actually, uh, I don't know. I think the Hay Gang had to go either way. I think this is going to be very dangerous. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's see how powerful this Hay Gang is going to be here as we get into match and number four with True Will and Pinkroid. Of course, Watery is going to be kicking things off with us, going with a big skill, too. I love that you said kicking things because he does kick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. The Etna's going to cut in and is going to have a big opportunity to change things right here. The Laura cuts before, so he has to dump the stun and gets Get it. Oh! Bucky Brooks!
gets the additional turn. He's got to go with the skill three. I, uh, I don't know. He needs to get the immunity off both these units there because the Fire and Bison will be going next there and with the Chunk Punk. But the Shun can stun there. right now. And he gets the triple stun. Oh, my God. He can reset right now. This Bison and gets it. Yes. Beautiful play. Pinkroyd celebrating right now. He's looking really, really yeah. comfortable right now. You can tell that he feels mm -hmm. okay with the situation right now. Provoke needs to land on top of that uh, Athena. Does yeah. get That's a lot of damage coming towards the Athena, too. I think that was a small misplay right there. He should have used the stun instead of the strip with the... Uh, Laura, and now he can reset the other unit. No, resisted. Needs a defense break. to be landing here. Serious matter is going to be coming out. Ooh. This is really, really important. I know there's glancing, but let's see what happens. He has to use that skill there. Gets the attack bar pushback on top of that Ethna. Stop that unit right now. Because things are looking really, really good for, for True Whale. Yeah, I think that He's gotta reset. He's got kill on top of this Ethna. He's got to keep pushing away at this. It's lowest unit. Take lives. It's getting really close right there. Fire and Bison is going to be primed to take that unit out. Yeah, he has to, but that missed reset is the game changer. Correct. The Chunk Punk got the push. He gets oh, the block, man. and Drew Well is taking a commanding lead. I think he's got a confirm kill yeah. on top of that Ethna. You got to kill the Ethna. There Edna. it is. He gets that second skill, pushing up his attack bar. Nothing's happening there. We got skill two available to stun all these units up here. True Well in full control right now at match points. Oof. That is very oh, difficult, man. and Big Roid quits. True Whale. True Whale, True Whale moves forward, knocks out Pinkroid again, and True Whale moves forward to meet Les at the finals. What a set stun! That was a uh, that was a crazy, crazy set there. We almost got to see our game five. We didn't get to see it, boys.